You are watching a live broadcast coming to you from the Power of Faith Ministries, Lot 13, Portmore Town Center, St. Catherine, Jamaica, West Indies. Is that amen? amen? Hallelujah, hallelujah. So this morning, anybody grateful for the cross? We sing, worthy is the Lamb who was and is and forever will be the one who is worthy of all glory and honor and praise. When angels and elders bow before him, we just have one thing in common. We cry, holy, holy art thou, Lord God Almighty. The one who was, forever will be. Beside you, there is none other God. You are God all by yourself. You are still Alpha, still Omega. The creator of everything, the beginning and the end. The author, the finisher of our faith. Our strength, our banner. Hallelujah. Anybody get grateful to be in his presence one more time? We worship, we worship, we worship. Thank you for the cross, Lord. Thank you for the price you paid. Thank you for the price you paid. Bearing all my sin and shame. Bearing all my sin and shame. In love you came. In love you came. And gave amazing grace. Thank you for this love, Lord. Thank you for this love, Lord. Thank you for your nail pierced hands. Thank you for the Say, wash me in your cleansing flow.
Everybody grateful for that ultimate sacrifice. Hallelujah. Thank you for the Hallelujah. That price we could not pay. Bearing all my sin and shame. Amazing grace. So today I say thank you for this love, Lord. Thank you for the name.
Hallelujah, hallelujah. Is God worthy this morning of your praise? Is he worthy of all honor? Is he worthy of everything you have and so much more? Then lift up your hands and give the Lord a praise offering. Lift up your hands and say, hallelujah, you are worthy, God. And no one else is worthy but you, God. And we thank you this morning. Hallelujah. Could you turn with me to the redemption song number 536? Oh, spread the tidings round. Hallelujah. Oh, spread the tidings round. Wherever man is found, wherever human hearts and human woes abound.
team to just sing this prayer refrain Holy Spirit thou art welcome in this place. I invite you all to just come to the altar. Holy Spirit thou art welcome in this place Holy Spirit thou art welcome just to lift you up and welcome you in this place heavenly father we come before you god just to tell you thank you father god because god no one else could have taken us to this place this morning god no one else could have done it but you father god and so father god we lift you up this morning we magnify your name we worship you because you are the king of all kings you are the lord of all lord 
and there's no one else that can take your place. This morning, Father God, I ask you to search us this morning, God. Empty us of anything that is not of you this morning, God. Consecrate us for worship this morning, God, so that, Father God, this service, Father God, you will be lifted up and you will be magnified, God, that the enemy will not have any place in this service, Father God. I pray, Father God, that you, Father God, strengthen the weak, Father God. Lift up those who are downcasted, God. Heal the sick, Father God. Let your anointing saturate the atmosphere this morning. Oh, Father God, speak to every lip that will minister this morning, God. Be the hands of the musician, Father God. Bless the one who will bring the word this morning, God. I ask you this morning, God, to have your way, God. Let it not be business as usual, God, but let your anointing fall, Heavenly Father, God. I place this service in your hands, God. I place your people in your hands, God. I place the soul that has come here, Father, God, to be nurtured, Father, God, to be received unto you, Father, God. I pray, Father, God, that you will speak that one word Father God, that will save the sinner, Father God, that will reclaim the backslider, God, that will lift up your people today, God. Father God, I pray that you continue to have your way, Father God, in our lives, God. I pray, Father God, that you continue to turn things around, Father God. I pray, Father God, that you will continue to anoint and continue to appoint, God. I pray, God, that as we leave here, God, we will not leave here the way we came, God, that we will leave here in victory. Victory, Father God, because you, Father God, know it all, Father God. You know the end even before the beginning, God. There is nothing impossible for you to do, God. So we're lifting you up in this service, God. Have your way, Heavenly Father. Let your will be done, Father God. As we give you all the glory and we give you all the honor and we tell you thanks in Jesus' name. Let us say the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Just lift your hands in praise as you go back to your seats. And just say, hey, tell God how thankful you are to be here this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you for another day. Thank you for life. Thank you for health. Thank you for strength, Father. Our scripture reading this morning will be taken from Joel 2, verses 27 to 32. While you're finding the scripture, let me use this time to greet our bishop, Bishop Dr. Delpha Davis, and our first lady minister, Dr. Prochova Davis. I greet you all, saints of God, the ministers, the officers, the elders, the prayer workers, the choir members. I welcome you, the visitors. I welcome you to the Power of Faith Ministries International Youth Sunday, second service. If you found it, let me hear you say amen. I'll read and you'll follow. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I am the Lord your God, and none else. And my people shall never be ashamed. And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. And also upon the servants and upon the handmaids, in those days will I pour out my spirit. And I will show wonders in the heavens and in the earth blood and fire and pillars of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and terrible day of the Lord come. 32 and last. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered. 
For in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance, as the Lord has said, and in the remnant whom the Lord shall call. Shall we read 32 together again? And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered. For in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance, as the Lord has said, and in the remnant whom the Lord shall call. Hallelujah. The Lord has spoken. Let the church say, Amen. The Lord has spoken. Let the church say, Amen. And whose name shall we get deliverance? Say it one more time. Jesus. We're believing for deliverance this morning. If you believe in, just give the Lord a hand clap. <laughs> At this time, I would like to welcome... You may have your seats. At this time, I would like to welcome a selection from Exhorter Danique Morgan. Receive her as she comes. Hallelujah. We turn the page for a new day has dawned, and we rearranged what is right and what's wrong. Somehow we the love 
of life where love reigns eternal are we praying are we fasting are we being our brother's keeper are we back to the basic yet church we need to get back to the basic where love abounds un unfolded where love through Christ is shown is that an amen at this time I'd like to for the general welcome and acknowledgement sister Annalise Duncan and sister Shanike Morgan Good morning, church. Welcome to, welcome to the Power of Faith Ministries International Second Sunday Morning Worship Experience. Today is Fourth Sunday, which is recognized as Youth Sunday. Can hear all the youths in the house say a big hallelujah. hallelujah. We first want to acknowledge and appreciate our youthful and vibrant leaders, Apostle Bishop Dr. Delford Davis and our International First Lady, Minister Dr. Petrova Davis, please give them a round of applause. We also greet our senior assistant pastor, Reverend Isilda Noteman, and all the ministers, officers, and VIP members, a warm welcome to you. Do we have any visitors worshiping with us today? Please indicate by the waving of your hand so that we can acknowledge you. We say a big welcome to our viewers on PFM Family Television on Flow Channel 602 and 672 and DigiPlay Channel 20. To those connecting on www.pfmfamily.org, Facebook Live, YouTube Live, Instagram Live, and on the PFMI app, keep it locked and you will definitely experience God's supernatural abundant blessings. 1 Timothy 4 verse 12 states, let no man despise thy youth, but be thou an example of the believers in word, in conversation, in charity, in spirit, in faith, and in purity. The NIV puts it this way. Don't let anyone look down on you because you are young, but set an example for the believers in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, and in purity. It is not our aim to fit in, but rather to stand out. Don't conform, but be transformed. Don't dim your light, but be like bearer. So all the youths and to the young at heart, in a world stained with sin, immortality, and darkness, we encourage you to dare to stand out and let your Christian influence be seen and felt wherever you go, because you could very well be the change that this world needs. Congregation, once again, clap your hand and welcome all our visitors, viewers, and browsers. Have a blessed day and week in the Lord. Thank you. God bless you all. Give Sister Shaneke and Sister Annalise another round of applause. 
Our youths are in action this morning. At this time, I'm going to ask you to change your position. We're going to be singing some wonderful praise songs to the Lord. So I'm asking you all to stand, and I invite the praise team to come back and give us some seven minutes of praise songs. Hallelujah. Come on, put Hallelujah. those hands together for the king. Hallelujah. Anybody, anybody is happy in the Lord this morning? Hallelujah. Let me see the happy people give a shout of praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Happy, happy, happy. Happy in the Lord, keeping God's commandment and trusting in His word. I want you to know God's promise is true. That's why I'm so happy. Happy in the Lord. Are you happy?
worship. Your praise is where your breakthrough is. You didn't come here to sit down and just watch. You came here to lift up the high and mighty God. So lift him up and give him that praise that you came with this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It was my pleasure serving you this morning. And I just want to just leave a few words with you. The God that we serve is a mighty and wonderful God. And he didn't say to us that we were going to have a smooth and easy road. But what he promised us was that we were going to make it. That whatever he promises, it is yea and amen. So I don't want us as people of God to be walking around, looking down and looking depressed. Because the God that we serve can do the impossible. I want you to all start looking up where your help is from. Don't look at the circumstances around you. Look up unto God. That is my word for you. When you're feeling down, look up. When you're feeling discouraged, look up. When you're feeling lost, look up. When you need healing, look up. Just look up from whence come at your help this morning. That is my word for you this morning. At this time, the, we'll have the choir ministry of the Voices of Triumph. After which... The next voice you'll hear is that of Minister Michael Mirage. Please stand and make him welcome when he comes. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, keep the worship going and say hallelujah. Keep the worship going and shout hallelujah. Wave your hands and shout hallelujah. Wave your hands and say hallelujah. We bless you, Lord. He's worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We bless your name, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hey, hallelujah. Be blessed your name, Jesus. Behold, he comes riding on the clouds.
praise. Hallelujah. Somebody give God a praise. Hallelujah. No God like him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Men and seven of them one say, there is no God like Jehovah. Oh, hallelujah. Somebody give God a praise. Hallelujah. Minister Patterson. For when the Holy Spirit starts to move within my soul, it starts a fire burning, fires of which I cannot control. Let us do it one more time. Let us start.
have gone a little further and said the river, 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 the river. Somebody going to the river. You're going through some sickness, but you're going to your river. You're going through some problem, but you're going to your problem. You're coming out. The river, the river, the river, the river, the river. You're coming out. Hallelujah. Hey. Whoa. What a mighty God. Ah, somebody give God a praise. Somebody give God a praise. What a mighty God we serve. Ah, there's none like him. There's none like him. There is none like him. May the Holy Spirit welcome again. There is none like him. Mm. What a choir here this morning. Put your hands together for the choir. Put your hands together for the choir. What a fire this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I thank God for the set man of the house. Bishop Dr. Delford Davis, Apostle Davis and his wife. Put your hands together for all of them, all the ministers, upper form, lower form. All over the place. Put your hands together for everybody. Come on, do it for yourself, man. Do it for yourself. We are in this thing together. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus. One more second service. Me only today again. Telling you, I know chuku chuku thing today. No? Ah, hallelujah. Tell them no chuku chuku worship today. No? We not unite. Tell somebody we not unite. Tell them we're not united. Whatever you're going to, tell them we're not united. You're coming out better. Oh, come on, church. Tell them you're coming out. Hallelujah. Sometimes you feel low. And when you come to church, you just need a little push start. It's your neighbor not going to give a little push start. Find another neighbor, man. Find somebody else who can give a little push start. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus, I feel something break in the atmosphere. Lord Jesus, I know when I feel something different, I can sense something different. There is rivers of joy, rivers of healing, rivers of breakthrough. Anybody looking out for money this morning? There is a financial river running through your room. And if you don't feel like it's not enough, just step out in a somebody. River of breakthrough. River of healing. River of deliverance. Mm. Oh, hallelujah. Somebody who is sick in their foot must feel rivers of healing. Somebody who has a money problem and you came into church, you must walk out with rivers of financial blessing. I know what I'm talking about. Somebody who's living in barren land must see river running through. Rivers of joy for the joy of the Lord. Reach up, power of you. Reach up, man. Reach up, reach up. Reach up, power of you. Reach up. Ah. There, there, I want to go into this word. But there is something I understand about river. The river flow in a certain direction. And there are times you see the water trickle. 
and you start to wonder what is happening. Somebody upstream block your flow. Tell your neighbor we are going upstream. And anything that is in your way, reach out Holy Ghost's foot and kick come on church and kick it out of your way. Kick it out for your children. Kick it out for come on man. Just, just start. Then block up the river upstream. I hear the downstream. I wait for blessings. And the blessings can come. You depend on your knee. And you are prayer. And you are fast. But Holy Ghost just release a word. So your blessings is there. But somebody up the river. Black in your blessing. If you know me, know. He caught up. Your money is there. Your healing is there. But somebody black it upstream. But it's still up there. And it a pile up. And it a over. We're going upstream. We're going up. And everything in the way. In the name of Jesus. I never joined corner league. Nah, FIFA. But this is not World Cup. This is the cup of my life. The cup for my children. If you know when me know. Find your right foot, left foot, back foot, front foot. And kick out. Can I change my minister? I have to spend another minute. You're praying for the blessings. And you almost want to walk out of church. And say, God, you give up on me. Your blessings in the river. Some bad man block it up the road. Some blood man block up your river. But in the name of Jesus, every blockage in your life, in your children's life, we plead a blood. In the midst of your tribulation, you still have to keep your smile. You still have to keep your joy. You still have to confuse the enemy with your worship. Because there is a river. Oh, hallelujah. Hey. Mm. What a mighty God. Lord, I could just change and preach this. But that's not the assignment. But there is something for someone. Hallelujah. Oh, somebody give God a praise. Give him a praise. Stand with me, everyone. And I read this from the fifth verse from the book of Jeremiah. I give you only a couple seconds to find it. From the book of Jeremiah, and I read only from the fifth verse to verse 10. Jeremiah 1, my apologies. Oi, what a thing. He said, before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou comest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. And I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. Then said I, O oh Lord God, behold, I cannot speak, for I am a child. But the Lord said unto me, Say not, I am a child. For thou shalt go to all that I send thee, and whatsoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. Be not afraid of their faces, for I am with thee to deliver thee, saith the Lord. Then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth. And the Lord said unto me, Behold, I have put my words in thy mouth. See, I have this day set thee over the nations and over the kingdoms to root out and to pull down and to destroy 
and to throw down, to build, and to plant. Pray with me, Father, in the name of Jesus. As we gather here today in the Power of Faith Ministries International, Lot 13, 14 to my right. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus that you stay with us today. You be with us today. According to your words, you say you will dwell with us. And you will be a father to us. You spoke those words by your apostle Paul. So we are taking you at your word today. That you will be with us in this church. You will sit with us today. And those who are even more troubled than mighty God. Minister to them today in the name of Jesus. Lord we come against every crystal ball. We come against every spell. We come against every parchment paper. We come against every disobedient spirit. We come against every marine spirit. We come against wandering spirit. We come against every sent spirit from the wicked one in the name of Jesus. We cancel them. We weed them out. We expel them. We reject them. And we send them back to hell in the name of Jesus. Yes, Holy Ghost of God, let every selfish ambition within me and every member of this church, let it be nullified, let it be liquidated and be cast out of every one of us. But let your glory be manifested today. Feed us, Holy Spirit of God. Feed us we want no more fill us up again in the name of Jesus teach us how to walk right teach us how to speak right teach us how to treat our brothers and sisters let your love be evident in one and all in the name of Jesus. We come against the spirit of malice separation and division but we must be in unity in the name of Jesus. Yes, Holy Ghost of God. Everyone and everything bow down to you today. In the mighty name of Jesus. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. In Jesus' precious and mighty name. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Virgin, I come to you today under this wonderful theme. And I was talking to Bishop. This morning, and I'm telling you, I want you to even go a little bit further to say, Bishop, the Holy Spirit is awesome. Because uh, we have no discussion. And I say that because of the many coincidences with this message and what our Bishop has been laboring from me. And the theme you will understand when you say that your Christian influence must be seen. And it must be felt. But he came to you from several portions of scripture. Then he came two weeks ago before we flew out. And he came more direct into my message. Into Jeremiah chapter 1. And he said the Lord gave him eight words. Were you here at church? Were you watching it online? And the, root, the words came from verse 10. I have set you this day over the nations and over the kingdom. To do what? To root out. To do what, church? To pull down. To destroy and to throw down. To build and to plant. And I said to myself, Lord, can you imagine that the man of God has preached my message and know him come into the very chapter. But me still I preach it. Can we get it before him? <laughs> but you look like in tech long for call me. And you want that word to go out. So you give it. But I come this morning. If this is the conclusion, then so be it. The title of the word is under the influence of the Holy Spirit. Oh, you're not hearing me. Under the influence of the Holy Spirit. My brothers and sisters, do not take influence lightly. The meaning of influence could be put this way. It is the power 
to make others agree with your opinion or to do what you want. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, don't take influence lightly. Oh, tell them again, man. Tell them again. <laughs> Say, neighbor, don't take influence lightly. For influence can shape you. Am I speaking the truth? Influence can break you. Oh, you're preaching right. You're looking at my notes, the man. <laughs> you see, when you are under the same influence, Minister Peter just said the word right here. And I know she don't see what was right here. But when you're under the same influence, you will think the same way. You will speak the same way. You will behave the same way. Because we are under the same. Oh Lord Jesus. For some of you who are paying attention to social media. You would have seen how many people make postings about a certain festival that might possibly even be going on right now in the sonnet. And they say it was supposed to finish on Saturday. But one thing I can tell you, the whole of them down there behave the same way. Them almost dress the same way. Everybody has shout the same way. Because all of them are under the same influence but when we come at church we must look the same way we must shout the same way we must act the same way because we are all under the same uh, hallelujah you're preaching right church you're preaching right it can help you influence can help you and influence can kill you Oh, am I speaking the truth? There are many people in the prison right now. They can testify that it's because they followed the wrong influence. It's because they took the wrong influence. They followed the wrong company. And look where it has landed. I'm telling you about one more time. Influence is not to be taken Oh, you're preaching right, you're preaching right. It can make you into a better person. That's why Apostle Paul said in Corinthians 1, 11 and verse 1, he said, imitate me uh, as I imitate Christ. Because he know some of us don't know what to do. But find a minister that you can reason with, an elder, an exhorter, a member of the choir. And just look how them dress and try copy them. Just look how them talk and try follow them. Some of we don't know better. But we must under the right. Oh, tell your neighbor, influence it's not to be taken lightly. Influence can help you succeed in life. Don't you not know that some of us are where we are? I follow. We follow somebody. You know? Lord, am I speaking to you? We have yammed and no son of lying. I tell him. I follow. We follow somebody. You know? And some people have trouble in their life. I follow them. Follow too. Some people marry the wrong husband. Wrong wife. I follow them, follow. Because minister top of him, cute wife, and she bright. So, and she decent. So, them assume that anybody with par with minister top wife, supposed to be also. And she could have be a big Jezebel under the quiet, you know. Some of you are going like people with a PhD and a Skettel too. Skettel of MBA. Skater la BAC. Skater live uptown too. Skater, can I preach this morning, church? Someone a girl and like I get to alone. Skater day. Skater day everywhere. Skater dynamite. Skater boom. Somebody say everywhere, 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 everywhere. You have to be careful of the kind of influence you allow in your marriages. Lord, I, I don't even want to stay too long this up. Because some people marriage did all right. Until them invite some people for dinner. Until them get certain people are riding them car. 
until them sorry for some people and say, let me bless you. Lord Jesus. And I hear everybody you must make coming out your marriage. And I hear everybody you must make have conversation with your family. Tell them, see me child, but don't touch him. See me daughter, but no hug her up. Tell them I can't take your in. Somebody say, preach it, minister. Preach it till he busts. Don't invite them to your yard. Them come in your yard. And you start wonder how your family start behave the way how them are behave. And then you start see the same signs following your family. Like the same way how they are behaving. And you wonder what happened. Bridging, we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities against powers don't you know that Jezebel's spirit no respect nobody Jezebel's spirit go everywhere in the pamphlet train bus and taxi Bridget, let me tell you something. I don't lie me I tell. You are some people. I better you not shake them on. I better you not sit down with part them sit down. That's why David's a blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. No, I stand it. No, I sit it. Because him said them a bad influence. <laughs> Ah, hallelujah. Somebody say, preach it, sir. Preach it, sir. You, if you are in charge in an organization, you have to be careful who you employ, you know. Lord Jesus, your company, all right. Your division, all right. All this acquire, you have to interview them well. Ah, when well, you want enough people to come join the choir. I better you have two sanctified voice up here than one choir full of troublemaker. You can't sing together. They can't come Saturday. You can't come Sunday. You can't come Monday. No day, no suit them. You wonder where they might do so. Like them are president and prime minister. They will never be on the same level with you. Am I speaking the truth? Don't let them on the choir. Say, brother, you can't sing, you know. Sister, you can't sing, but you're coming too much trouble. And then tell them we have enough up here. I'm not gonna like all of them be up here. Look at some of them. I'm gonna take one look at me, know you're hard for deal with it. Mass or no mass, me know you're trouble. But somebody give God a praise. You have to be careful of the people you hang out with. Oh, you're not hearing me. You're at work, you have to be careful who you sit with. Can I testify quick? Lord Jesus, you know I'm in the finance area. And this man submitting him tax. And him submitting tax. And every time them say tax wrong. And they overcharge him and overestimate him. And him go up to the tax department. I can't call a name. And him say, why not treat me so bad? Look how not treat me bad. And look how who not charge me how much millions. And like somebody decides to help him out one year and say, you see the accountant where I prepare your books? Find a different one. Then I have a problem with the man, you know. <laughs> and the man where I prepare the books, the tax department have a problem with. Because they know he lie. So if you might prepare books for you, that means you lie too. Because show me your company. And I will tell you who you are. Influence is not to be taken lightly. Because if you see somebody who will behave like them funny. Are you in a funny group? Driving a funny car? Eat your own funny table? Consume funny food? It's only a matter of time before everybody says you're funny too. Am I speaking the truth? Tell the neighbor one more time. He influence. In a church, do you know? If them hear Bishop and bad mind Minister Davis and hear the ministers them in here, and them dislike the elders. And you are work with them. It's only a matter of time. They say you not like Bishop too. And you hate the ministers too. And you not like the elders and the prayer warriors. Tell any of our influence. is not to be taken. Lord Jesus. If not school. When you see your children. You talk about mommy. Daddy is my friend. This. So which friend? 
I see you won. I mean, I see that the bad influence there. I ain't not afraid to tell anybody. Everybody used to tell me, my mother said, my galang like say, me a Prince Michael Arima. Come my mother knows say, you born Arima, grew Arima, dead Arima. When you bury, you don't go far. You bury right Arima. <laughs> you bury Arima, me a pen. And as far as my mother is concerned, nobody must come, come call me. Because she know, yes, there are good people in Rima, but you can't deny there are enough bad daddy too. So my mother said, no one follow the wrong company. Parents, let me tell you something. If you see them come to your son or your daughter, and they see them, Holy Spirit, we just sing about, tell you, say, don't make them come or your gate. Run them. You're not hearing me. Nobody talk like you're too cute. They say, hey, hey, you, you, don't no come back down here. No come at me gate. Because when them a look for them, for kill them, it could be the one day your son, your daughter is talking to them. And AK-7 no respect nobody. M-16 no respect nobody. Shot no carry eye. Lord, I almost sound like I want DJ a while ago. One DJ, they say, copper shot. Remember me tell you about that. So the girl and I play cute. Influence cause all kind of problem. Let me go into the message. Nice and decent. It is important to know who are the influencers. Because if you don't understand, you could very much right now be under people influence. Plenty of us, I can't say all, are under the influence of Bishop Dr. Delford Davis. Some of all I get fat like him. Which you can. Some people head all I get big like feet. Shine like feet. Watch out. Everybody head shine. Watch out. A bishop influence this. You know, put the camera upon them. Watch out. Everybody had shine. In a soul, my maga. Me under the Holy Spirit influence, but you are not bishop influence. <laughs> the man of God is a good man of God. But the apostles say you must imitate who is around you. Because if they are good leaders and I give good example, they must follow. It's a long message, you know, but I'm not cut it. If you have to come back next time. Because when you really think about it, even the children start behave like them parents. The mother's kettle, cheap, not fly far, them say. And they wonder, oh, she addressed so. You do see yourself? Where are you going at that? She said, the mommy, where you in a now? And the father talk about, where are you going like you're done? You have your spliff on one side of your mouth. And I tell him, say, I'm going like him, my dad. You know, see, my look on the dad in front of him. And I said, Daddy, I want to be just like you. Him see you last night with the Glock. Him only pretend like he was sleeping. But him see when you were taking out the firing pin. When you say, I want to go off in the house. Him see. Can I preach it loud and clear this morning? Influence is not to be taken lightly. They're all kind of influence, Lord Jesus. Some people drive under the... Ah, uh, some people get all smart and say, them not drink and drive. So them drink for them doesn't be a first and then go drive. <laughs> Somebody give God a praise. Can I tell you something about government? Government say you cannot drink on the job. Cannot. The government of Jamaica say you cannot drink on the job. But lunchtime, you can't go down at the bar and drink one dozen beer and come back. Can you never drink on the job? You come back with the beer, he know you. Back to the job, but you never drink a ding on the job. So plenty of us go along out of the world, go do what we want to do. Bubble and wine last night and come at church this morning. When I go and let me must preach it up all the time. Judgment must first begin in the house of God. 
So you have to make sure that when you come Sunday morning and you're sanctified, you keep your sanctity come Monday. You keep it Tuesday. You keep it Wednesday. And if you go to work and I keep all them foolishness, what did Corinthians, 2 Corinthians 6 say? Come out from among them and be influence my brothers and sisters has been there from the beginning it is not a new thing for right there in the book of Genesis from chapter 3 and the woman said to the serpent from the second verse we may eat the fruit of the trees of the garden but of the fruit which is in the midst of the garden we shall not eat the fruit for God has said don't eat it. Don't touch it. Lest you will die. And I know you know the scripture. But I want to remind you about what the serpent said. Then the serpent said to the woman. You will not surely die. And what did the woman do? She never leave the fruit alone. She never leave it as God commanded her. And he said for God knows. That in the day that you eat the fruit fruit your eyes will be open and you will be like God knowing good and evil but tell your neighbor if God said not touch it no touch it if God said don't eat it don't eat it no make them convince you and tell you so you can't touch it because if you touch it you are going to if you touch it, you're going to lose your salvation. You know how many Christians hear some little DJ music and them start to go along a certain way. And them know that them don't get fully deliverance yet. And them know them need some more cleaning up. And you hear the music and you start up your foot because nobody no see your foot and you start to your finger under the table and in your spirit you start bubble long time and you start gyrate Lord me 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 preach I chew me attack and you go and like nobody no see you but the same influence still in your body and we see you start puppy tail and you start wiggle and jiggle you think me no know where I go and when I'm a puppy tail out of road and them start shake everything and I go and like holy ghost no see them and even when they're in a church, every now and then you see them I grab up this and grab up that. I talk about them under the spirit. Our kind of spirit they could under that you grab up your private part in a church. The blood of Jesus Christ against that. And every minute me see I push up the breast. Like for your breast, them a drop out a position. If them put on good, them can't come out. And when you put in there, we can't turn right there. Because you went over to Brazil and add in some stuff. Some stuff stuff Lord me, me me preach and the same stuff where you put in need a little balancing every time but when Holy Ghost is inside of your body you know so you're right you know that you are made perfect and say you are royalty can I see the royal people jump up and give God a praise you are royalty People are coming under the influence of the world. Ladies are succumbing to the influence of the world. Because they remember teenage body. And them still want the teenage shape. And them are push out this and Minister, Minister Norman, can I preach it the same way? But we want the Holy Ghost influence to be up on the woman of God. To say, remember Psalms 139. Him say, you are fearfully and wonderfully made. Oh, marvelous are your words. Jump up and say, me know it, God. Me know it, me know it. Me know it. Come on, ladies. Say, me know it. The ladies need some good example to follow. The man them need some good example to follow. All right. Influence is the capacity to affect change. Lord Jesus. Influence guides the development of children. What did he say in Proverbs 22? Train up 
the child in the way he should go. And when he's old, he will not depart from it. Do you not know, brothers and sisters, that up at the university, I was preaching last week in convention in the country, and I was telling some country parents down there, I said, I know some of your children are going to the university, and you're busy looking the money right now to board them in the university, whether you take our UE, and I know you work in the field, and you're taking out all the yam, and you dig the yam hill, and you're waiting until August, so you have the money at the right time, time and you're making sure that the animals the long cow where you have put on long time that you're planning to slaughter the cow because you need the money to pay for the school fee and you need the money to pay for the, 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 the accommodation and you need money to give them lunch money and you need money to make sure you sustain them but hear me parents the same university every weekend stone love up there Copper shot up there. And them have all kind of renaissance going on in the university. I say, instead of just buy them clothes and Nike, buy them a bottle of olive oil, carry it down to your church and get some Holy Ghost sanctified people who never saw them garment yet, who are living for God and tell them sleep on it. Tell them touch it and pray and get somebody to agree with you. And when them don't fast and pray and when them touch the olive oil and agree with you, I say carry go back at your house and when they are sleeping, come on church. And when they are eating, come on church. I say anoint the boy from the crown i head and when I say mommy you nasty up me clothes I say don't worry about your clothes and your future them one nasty up don't worry about your shoes and your life them one mess up and when you anoint him you say holy ghost set him by fire that when the lads man see him, the lads man up at the university have your back up. When the funny man see him, the funny man have your back up. Him coming with him CXC, him coming with him A level, him coming with him keep, him have him knapsack with book, but him have something else. Him coming with the Holy Spirit, he set on fire and no. Ah. Wrong influence will get you in trouble. Wrong influence will get the whole of you killed. Am I speaking the truth? It is written in number 16. Oh, I love this service this morning. According to the word of God, there were three men, one named Korah, Dayton, and Abiram, they caused the death of 14,700 Israelites. They caused the death of 250 elders. And they caused the death of their entire family. Oh, you're not hearing me. You can do the maths for yourself. 14,700 Israelites die because they follow the wrong influence 250 elders die because them follow the wrong influence the entire family and agriculture chicken dog puss rat everything belong to date and corona byron everything dead even if cockroaches in the cockroach dead everything belongs to them dead if you know me know you must under the right influence and when you're under the right influence in the same way everything come against you will dead anything mother sin mother and her family will dead anything the bad man them set up against you the bad man and his family will dead because the eyes of the lord run to and forth throughout the world and come on church i don't know who is against you but in the name of jesus under the option of the holy spirit i cry now to zion and say anything against you this morning in the name of jesus it must dead anything against my family it must 
wicked. Anything against my business. I want some people to get radical and see a dead time. A dead time when you're under the influence. Ah. Mm. Ah. Woo. When you're under the influence of the Holy Spirit, it affects you. It's a hard message to swallow. Easy message to follow. Can I say it again? Hard message to swallow. Easy message to follow. When you're under the influence of the Holy Spirit, he affects you. You can't do what you want to do. You can't behave like how you want to behave. It's because the Holy Spirit is a fit. You are no longer your own. You belong to him. How oh, many times we sing that in church that I am no longer my own. I belong to Jesus. It's because the Holy Spirit is affecting you. Some will say it and don't mean it. But there are some of us never sing it. But from the crown of our head and to the sole of our feet, we are sold out for Christ. We now go back someplace. We now be a certain way. We now talk certain Certain way, we now wear certain clothes, and because we don't know where to buy them, and because we don't know how to put them on, but because we are under the influence. Ah. Ah. The Lord said to Jeremiah, according to the same Jeremiah one. As I tell you, I will cut it because I'm not trimming in message. I'm not going even up. Where we stop, we stop. Pick it up on next time. He said to Jeremiah in the same chapter 1 from verse 18. For behold, I have made you this day a fortified city and an iron pillar. A bronze wall against the whole land. Against the kings of Judah, against the prince, against the priests, against all the people. And the Lord said to Jeremiah in the next verse, they will fight against you, but they shall not prevail. For I am with you to deliver you when the Holy Spirit tells you to say some things. I know there's going to be a lot of opposition. People might even want to come against you. But the Lord said, I am with you to deliver you. Them could have bent up them fierce and wrench up them fierce. Them could have brand this nine and clock. Me know me I talk about. Them could have tell you how them crew pig and them passing large and them rating star like blue mountain. God God said, I am with you. Don't be afraid of them. He said, don't be afraid of the politician. Don't be afraid of the prime minister. He said, don't be afraid of bishops and reverend and pastor. He said, don't be afraid of the priest. He said, don't be afraid of the kings and the prince. He said, no matter how much people. He said, do not be afraid of them. For I am with you to deliver you out of all of the problems. And I have that assurance that God is with me. Are you here in my church? I have no. I'm boring some of you. I see it from some people's face. They are bored this morning, but that is all right. I know once you're under the same influence that Michael Mirage is under, you must identify if it had not been for the Lord. Who was on my side when men rose up against me? They would have swallowed me alive if it was not God. When I went down on my knees and said, Plead my cause, it's because you have the Holy Spirit. 
If you don't have credit, you can't make no call. If you don't have credit, you can't send to no message. That's why you have to depend on the same network. And the network no name Digicel. It no name Flow. It no name at and The network name Holy Spirit. And the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead. If the same spirit dwells in your mortal body tell them shoot if you want to shoot if it is God for me who can be a a closing he said to Jeremiah before I form you telling you about before the Holy Spirit dropped this. I got dynamite in my soul. Let me tell you this. There are things for you. You don't know yet. Because the Lord said I put them in place before. It's you to ask him, Lord, what is in place? He said, before I form you in the womb, I knew you. That's why some of we have some burning desire upon our heart. The people them say, you don't slide back, but you still want to go to university. And you can't understand why you have that desire to go to university. Because before it was placed inside of you. Before that's your heart. Daniel, he said, before I declare that you shall be the head and you shall not be the tail. That's why when some people got bank, them feel so discouraged. Did you not hear what Minister David said when they were building this church? And Bishop said, let us go and take a loan. The man preached it right here. He said, he went to the bank and was about to sign the papers. To get the funds to build the church. And the same thing Minister Davis felt in our spirit. That God gave a reminder. Because when you depend on the Holy Ghost line. Him say I am able. Him say I am able. No one to him. Who's able to do exceedingly. Right at the point of signing. Holy Ghost step in and say you don't need no loan. I will build it for you. Just continue worship. Just continue prayer. I will say to the north, give up. And to the south, keep not back. Somebody says, send on God, send on. Somebody says, send on Holy Ghost, send on. Can I testify? I was in the country the other day. And a lady said, Minister, she heard that I was in the hotel. What kind of hopeful lady this? She see the name on the list, say Maraj. And she want to make sure, say, it is this Maraj. And I'm alone name Maraj. Look how much people in Jamaica name Maraj. And a hotel and people come from foreign. And the lady see the name Maraj. And run come knock the room. And knock you up and say, my man, in a name Michael Maraj. Come and see him name on it. I want to make sure I him. Come and want to know him. Come and see him from power theater. And he little and he was Tell me if I'm in there. I said, what kind of woman is this? She's not afraid to lose her work. She says, she feel pun the way, the Holy Spirit. Fun in the way, fun in the way. She said, the floor not feel the same way. The floor feel different. Somebody different up here. Somebody different. She says, somebody different up here. She knocked the door. I said, tell me if you mean that. I say, here I am. She said, Minister, I want to testify at the same time. What is this? The lady said, my daughter going to university. And I don't have no money. And she said, she's going to fast and pray. And said, God, according to Psalms 50. And from verse 9. He said, you have a cattle upon a thousand hill. That can't help me. Kill two cows and send the money come. If some of you are talking about God this. If you know me, you know so God. Kill two of the cow them. And send the money come. Cow and hill can't help me. And money me want. 
and some of their church you're too cute and the woman said minister Maraj, money no stop run if you know me i know ask you too good ask you too big ask you ten cow who open up your sanctified mouth and say the cow can help me on the hill kill ten But I must stop. Let me tell you. The influence of the Holy Spirit can never, ever be discounted. When you don't have the Holy Spirit guiding you, you are lost. Oh, you're not hearing me. We need... The Holy Spirit to guide us. You see, there is a way that seemeth right. But the steps of a good man, they are ordered. The Holy Spirit will tell you where to stand, where to sit, where to go, when to go, when to stop, and when to move again. And if you are here this morning, and you know that you need that guidance. You see, every time Israel was about to go into warfare, they sought the presence of God. And they wanted the guarantee that God will be with them. Many of us right now have lost contact with the Holy Spirit. We can't tell if he's with us, if he's on the right hand, if on the left hand, if he's before or behind. Job said, I searched for him. I could not find him. Job said, I look in front of me. I cannot be holy. Job said, I went back. I cannot perceive him. When he works on the right hand, I cannot behold him. And when he turned to the left hand, I cannot see him. But Job gave us confirmation that he knows the way that I take. My brothers and sisters, make no mistake. I preach hard, but I preach out of love. I cannot hold back the words. Bishop admit it. He said, Minister Baranj, don't preach a whole back. I, I know I was supposed to be dead many times. And I, the Lord has reminded me where he brought me from. That's why you will always see me humbling myself. I am not my own. Not my own. I am definitely not my own. And if you're under my voice, and you know you need to have that presence, that contact. And you know within yourself, I know I don't really have it. Don't be shamed. Come. Let me pray quickly. Take up the offering and dismiss yourself. It's a, it's, a, it's a call for us. It's not a pretty call. It's not about money. It's not about house. All those things that God, God of heaven, our Father said, I'll give you. I'll give it to you. That is nothing. He said, I give you. Why are you worried about him? He said, I give you that. He said, but I want you to be with me. And I to be with you. He said, I want to walk with you. Can you imagine? The God of the universe want to walk with us. Little me and little you want to dwell with us. Oh, come on church. Some of you take this for granted. There's going to come a day when some people have a wish. They could come close to him, but they can't. But we have the opportunity today where we can say, Lord, I want that presence. What did the king of Israel say? Do not take your Holy Spirit from me. That's what David said. He said, take, take the house. The king said, take the money. But do not take your Holy Spirit from me. He said, I would rather be a doer.
your keeper in the whole of God. The king, not the shepherd boy. The king. And what could we have to impress God? Virgin, some people need God to walk with them, you know. Don't sit down there and be cute, you know, and not where and belong. I preached at the anniversary service. <laughs> a young man came to me. He's younger than me, so I'm young. And he started to ask me all kinds of things. And I said to him, Where are you in the church? He said, Yes. I said, Where you come to me for? Me outside and the Holy Spirit in there. And he already released the word in there. And if you never collect it, go back inside, go collect it. And him there, I try myself, this now. I'm a man. God used me and speak a word. And I've spoken it already. If you not get it, it dropped down inside there. Go on feet. And the man traveled four weeks ago to power of faith. And meet me right at the door. And say, I'm happy I went inside. As I go inside, there's somebody give me some US. And I get the money if you go pay me insurance. And he said, I was inside there praying for insurance money. And he come outside and ask, I mean, I look money from me now. I said, I don't have it. The money in there, the man I look in an empty church and I say, in there? He said, what you want is not outside, it is inside. And the man take all the way from which part in church there. A grand spend and come over here just to tell me, say, boy, are you serious enough? As me go back in the church, my call me and say, no, I'm going to see you. And give him the money. Where I'm outside, I ask me to pray with him for. I only say that to say, when we release the word, we can't say it again, it gone out. And God said, it shall not return unto me void without accomplishing what I desire and without succeeding in the matter for which I sent it. It's for you to collect it and send me today to say you must be under the influence of the Holy Spirit. When they go for visa, they can't tell you no because it's not you them say stand up in front of them. It's the presence of God. If you're looking about a house and you're going to NHDI in the bank, they cannot tell you no. Because of who is with you. They have to say yes. Yes. Sign and stamp. Not because we have done any good thing, but because of who is with you. Church, come quick now, man. I need to close. Come, man, if you know you must come, come, let me see the prayer upon your man. Come, man, don't be cute. The man come to me and I say, it is in there. That's what I always tell people. We are not special. Once we release the word, it's out there. It's live and active and sharper than any two-edged sword. It's not my words. It's the word of God. When I once I read them, I spit them out. It is out there and it's working. For anybody who wants it to work for them. What I am seeing now is what God tell me will happen. People are going to come back to be under the influence. When Holy Spirit tell you not to move, you will not move. It going to seem foolish, but when God said, turn to the, stay where you are. You hear me Facebook and YouTube. You hear me flow and digital. You need to be under the influence of the Holy Spirit. You need to be guided by the Holy One of Israel. You need to submit yourself to the Holy Spirit of God. He has place in your church. Even my Adventist brethren, my New Testament brethren, my Church of God, Apostolic brethren, the Pentecostal brethren, he has placed a shepherd there to guide you who is being guided by the Holy Spirit. And here we are, submitting ourselves to the elder that God has placed inside here, the Apostle Bishop Dr. Delphi Davis. Who it is clear 
the Holy Spirit is guiding. For where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Not where money is. Not where contacts. Not where big this and big that, but where the Spirit of the Lord is. There is liberty. And when you are under his guidance, there is no worry will bother you. The troubles of life will not worry you. You are hurt, but they will not bother you anymore. Because he was called you to himself. is able to fix everything. You hear me? He's able to fix everything. A church is where everybody's where the Lord wants, you know. And if you could close your eyes with me and bow your heads, let me pray with you out of the sincerity of my heart. Not to be seen by men, but that you can hear from God. Father, in the name of Jesus. Here we are, Almighty God. Standing in your house. As Jehoshaphat summoned all of Israel. And they all came to the house. And they said to you, Lord. Lord. When we built you this house. We placed your name in it. That a famine should come upon us. A sword should come upon us. If pestilence, we will come back to this house and cry out to you. And here we are, mighty God, assembled as sheep before the great shepherd. The shepherd who is not the hireling. For the hireling does not own the sheep. The hireling and mighty God saw the wolves coming and run away left us but you are the good shepherd and you lay down your life for the sheep and lord we come to you today and we put aside all our cares and we cast them on you for you care for us here we are god Suffering from all kind of ailments. Sickness of the body. Suffering, almighty God. From all kind of troubles of this time. Unemployment. Lack of financial resources. Problem in the family. Problem in marriages. Problem with paying our bills. Problem with taking care of the children. Here we are, great God of Israel, looking not on the cares of the world, but wanting to have that which is more precious, more precious than gold, which is your spirit. Yes, mighty God, breathe upon us today. Fresh fire, fresh anointing, Fresh laughter, fresh joy, fresh financial resources, fresh healing, fresh family happiness, fresh employment, fresh business, fresh plan. Renew us in the Holy Ghost. Yes, Holy Ghost of God, wipe away the tears. Wipe away the earth. Wipe away the pain. Wipe away the disappointment. Wipe away the failure. Put us back under your influence. Put us back. Put us back. That we can walk right. With you again. As you once walked with us. Here we are again, Lord. 
lifting up our hands, looking unto you, Jesus, the author, the finisher of our faith. We glorify you. Ah, 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 ah. Yes, Lord. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Yes, 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 yes. 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 Reboshekta. In the Vasekota. Rubo Sandaya. That's it. Rebon de Bassena. Rebotseta. O Cambandia. Reba. Nana. That's it. O la Bosha. Eleba. Oh, hallelujah. That's it. That's it. Yes, Holy Ghost. Yes, Holy Ghost. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way. Ah. 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 You are a defeated devil. You are a defeated foe. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for saving my brother, my sister, my uncle, my aunt. A grandmother, a grandfather, a neighbor, a friend, a in-law. Thank you. Ah, ah, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Woo. Ah, hallelujah. Ah, hallelujah. Oh, come on, church. Come on, church. Don't be quiet, church. There's something going on. There is something going on. Don't quench that spirit. You ask for it, man. Don't quench it. Don't quench it. Yes, yes. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back under the influence. Come back under his guidance. Come back. Mm. Ah. Ah. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Stand where you are, man. That's it. The Holy Ghost is influencing some believer again. Yes. Ah, come voices of triumph. The influence is heavy. I feel a heavy. I feel a heaviness. The Holy Spirit is resting on me, man. There's a heavy presence of the Holy Spirit. Ah. Take a touch, man. Take a touch. Ah, it's heavy, man. It's heavy. It's heavy. Ah, it's heavy. It's heavy. It's heavy. Yokes, chains, ropes, broken, curses in the name of Jesus. Ah, ah, put your hands together for the Holy Spirit Church. Is there anyone here today? Before you move, don't move. Don't you dare move, my brothers and sisters. Is there anyone today who has not given their life to the Lord? And you are there contemplating it. And make no mistake. This is what it's all about. We love to preach. We love to sing. We love to plunder hell. But more importantly, we want to populate heaven. We are not perfect. So we are, every one of them can tell you. We are examples to you that if God can use us and save us, is that he can save you too. Am I speaking the truth? Sometimes people think, I'm better, we're better than us. We are trying to tell them. So no, we are examples, good examples. So if you are here, raise your hand if you have never given your life to the Lord and we can pray with you. Very good. What a mighty God. Come on, church. Put your hands together. 
Everybody just bow your heads and let me say this prayer and repeat after me those who raise their hand. Father, I thank you for your word today. Today is my day to take you, Jesus, as Lord and Savior. You said in your word in 1 John chapter 1 and verse 9 that you are faithful and just and to forgive us of all our trespasses and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So I take you at your word. Wash me. Cleanse me from all my sins. Those that I know and those that I am not aware of. But take me as I am and wash me and make me whiter than snow. And I promise, Lord, from this day forward to follow you. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Oh, somebody put your hands together. Two more persons just step in to the kingdom. Come on, put your hands together. Heaven rejoice when one and we have two. The announcer is getting ready to come and give an announcement while we get ready for giving. Return to your seat, please, and get ready for giving. Go in your pocket and take out that which you have. Announcer, announcer is going to line up quick to give us an announcement. We are over 12 and we're not going to keep you much, much longer. Find it quick, 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 please. We collect first fruits. Tithes and your offering, which you give freely. So, as soon as you are taken out that which you are brought to give to the Lord, stand with me. Let me pray with you quickly. Those that are returning to their seats, take out your portion quickly. Anybody was blessed today? Oh, what a mighty God we serve! Ah. All right, stand with me, let me pray. Father, we thank you for your many blessings today. We thank you for that which you have given to us. And you have poured back into our lives. And as we give you a portion again out of what you have given to us, please accept it, mighty God. For the furtherance of your word. Anoint the hands and minds of those who will manage it as you have always done. So it will be a blessing to the work here on earth. Let those who reach forward their hands to give today receive that which you have promised them. A good measure, pressed down, and run over. Let it run even into their family's life so all can be partakers of your blessing. And those who are not able to give, bless them, Lord. Open up a door for them so they can be a blessing to your work on earth. We tell you thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Come from the aisles as usual. The ushers first, sorry, will lead us in giving, and then after the ushers, we will give. The announcer will take over now. Thank you, Minister Maraj. Welcome to the pages of the Power of Faith Ministries Diary for week beginning Sunday, July 24, 2022. I would like to first and foremost acknowledge the persons from the Christian Garden community worshiping with us this morning as a result of the open air meeting. Is there any such persons there this morning? Bless the Lord. Bless God. Come on, church. Give the Lord a praise. <laughs> Hallelujah. We are happy to have you and we encourage you to continue walking with the Lord. Minister Leighton Foster from the Miramar Assembly is here worshiping with us this morning. Bless you, sir. We're happy to have you too. Please acknowledge him. Praise God. <laughs> Greetings came to our bishop, Minister Davis, and the Power Faith family from the following brethren who are overseas. Deaconess Valerie Smith, Deacon Gregory from Atlanta, Georgia, Sister Mervaldus Goldsmith from Canada, Sister Kathleen J Joseph, Sister Ansel Douglas, Missionary Jean Douglas, Sister Ivor Ratri and Sister Glanville. Let us remember to keep our brethren overseas in our prayers. Special, 
notice, Exhorter Melvin Brooks, please check with the announcer's office before leaving. The church office numbers are back in operation. You may contact us on 988-7638, 988-9196, or 998-7199, Mondays to Fridays. Please be reminded that the canteen is open to serve you this and every Sunday. Do you need some good honey? Well, Brother Thompson has some on sale, and you may collect your bottles from Minister Yvonne Daly immediately after service, or you can call them on any of the following numbers. 564-5671 or 858-0574. Baptismal instruction classes will be held this and every Sunday on the following days. At 9.30 a.m. and also on Sunday evening at 5.30 p.m. Do you have a love and a passion for sports? This is a call for you as the Power Faith Ministry Sports and the Outreach Ministry is inviting all interested persons to meet with us immediately after service by the Children Church. This call is not just for athletics, but for anyone interested in reaching souls and its unique ability to bring people together. In our upcoming events, on Saturday, July 30th, the Evangelists and Exhorters Councils will be having a combined retreat right here at the Prophet Ministries compound between the hours of 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Registration will be ongoing, and so you may speak with Evangelist Log on 427-0022 or Evangelist Summon on 432-1730 or Exalta Lorenza Dixon on 363-4083. There will be a big independent sale right here at the UDC car park on Saturday, July 30th, beginning at 7.30 a.m. The Bible Studies Department presents Jamaica 60 edition Extravaganza 2022, a family fun day with a difference on Saturday, August 6, 2022, from 9.30 a.m. to 5 p.m., right here on the church grounds of the Power Faith Ministries. It promises to be a fun-filled day with back-in-the-days games and concert. Come participate in soda drinking, crackers and bun eating, Chinese skip, Dandy Shandy, baseball, dress for church race, and minister's race. Lots of prizes and surprises. And Jamaica food such as jerk chicken, jerk pork, Akian saltfish, roast yam, and breadfruit. Tickets are available at a cost of $1,000 for adults and $500 for children, which includes your meal, a concert, and a chance to win a wonderful gift prize. Get your tickets from the superintendents, teachers, or any ushers. You cannot afford to miss this event. The Missionaries Council present Jamaica 60 with a jubilee, a night of talent expression for Christ on Sunday, August 21st, commencing at 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. Come see your dynamic choristers, singing group, anointing persuaders, drama group, evangelist Raylene Lindo, and other missionary council squire make their debut ministry. It's a white affair with a tops of Jamaica flair. So get your signature scarves. Somebody please raise your scarf. I want you to have it. You saw a bishop in it this morning. While supply lasts at a cost of $300. Refreshment will be on sale. Old time something, come back again. So bring your shilling and come. Regrettably, there will be no Vacation Bible School, VBS, this year due to COVID. The delay in due to the delay in recommencing Bible studies, we look forward to serving you in 2023. In the interest of time, I'll just read our sick and death notices. The following persons are sick and at home or in the hospital. Sister Marlene Barnes suffered a stroke and is in the hospital. Sister Paulette Barnes is sick is at home. The following persons have passed away and funeral arrangements are pending. The mother of Elder Anthony Crichton, Sister Evadne Allen, Brother Demacaro Henry, who was in the Bustamante Children's Hospital, 
the mother of Brother Greg Grant, the mother of Exhorter Opening Richards, and the father of Brother Clea Sterling, and the father-in-law of Sister Carol Sterling. It was my pleasure to have served you this morning. Enjoy the rest of the week. God bless you. Thank you. All right, stand with me, everyone, please. It was wonderful to have had you today. What a mighty God we serve. Could you give him a praise? <laughs> Hallelujah. May the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, love of God the Father, full fellowship and communion of the Holy Spirit, the Comforter, rest, remain, and abide with us all, now and forever. For amen. Influence is not to be taken lightly. Thank you for watching this live broadcast. Please like, share, and subscribe if you were blessed and inspired. Remember to visit our website at www.pfmfamily.org for more information. Stay tuned and be blessed.